I made calls I wouldn't have called. You know, the Ace Four suited was was kind of sketchy. And he he had I guess today was Jack Seven. You know, that was his hand today. You know, yesterday mine was Queen Nine. So you know, we found his hand and he ran with it. So. It's all come down to this. Two warriors duking it out for $150,000. Looking at the stats, Roy the boy Brindley. Manfredi with a three to two chip lead, but what else separates these two? Wow, who would have thought it for starters? Two of the tightest players at the table, both sat back, waited for cards, played a real solid, solid game. They've got themselves heads up by hook or by crook. Right now, whoever shows the brawn, whoever makes the moves, bets with nothing, graces with nothing, is strong, strong favour. Will either player realise that we now need to adjust dramatically to start making outrageous moves? This has been a gentleman's tournament to the end. The two wishing each other good luck, and Barry Hearn limbering himself up for the fight to come. Play like the gentleman you're supposed to be. Amanda, ready to deal. We're head-to-head -head now. Small blind is on the button. It'll be Manfredi first to speak. And he stuff? is the chip leader. He's found what he wanted, an ace. Has doubled the bet. Blinds 15 and 30,000 now. This is the top limit. They'll play at this level till we have a result. And Manfredi, who played a tremendous head-up match with Alex Zisselman earlier on in this tournament. Ready for battle yet again. They slugged it out. Barry Hearn, of course, beating John McCreerick in a head-up match to get here. And now the two. Duke and for the title. 111 hands played so far. And you have to think, these two with their playing styles this could take another 30 or 40 hands yet, but who knows, two monsters might meet, and it could be all over in one hand. Barry Hearn, a competitor extraordinaire, has found two face cards on the button. It looks like Ray's is his preferred option. Make it 60, double the bet. Well, Manfredi pull one off here. Well, it's not big enough for him to pass. There's no question of that. You know, you commit 30 on a big blind, 30 more, you've got a call. Any so face card looks good here. Manfredi looking for a lady, but he won't like it if it hits the board. Well, a queen high flop would probably save it for Baza. 120,000 in the pot. And they've okay. both missed wide. Well, here Ooh. you go. They've both missed. This is the, this is where the best player will win the tournament when they both miss a flop. They've not got cards and they make moves. It's gone check, check. Turn coming now. And that club has still changed nothing. No, never check it twice. Never check it twice, especially heads up. Never check it twice, man. Oh, wow. Baza not finding the bullets. High card will win it. Manfredi does not want to bluff on it. This pot is huge. It's 120,000. Yeah, Jesse, 120,000 chips. All right, fifth of the chips in the tournament, and it's checked down. This is the difference. This is where a player was in there. A shark will be snapping away, betting the flop, raising the turn, re-raising pre-flop. These two are going to play and wait for cards, and I think we're going to have to find two monster hands clash together to get a winner. And that has nearly leveled it. Hearn, one pot, has got him back in business. Only 30,000 or 60,000 between them. 112 hands have brought us to this. Arthur, first action, and now he's found the king queen, though they're what suited. Size, what size raise? Raise. Raise. That's more impressive. That's not a Barry Hearn limit size raise, a good size raise. That's important. All in! Hearn's found the big ace. Will Manfredi call? He has quick. Oh, it's only been a couple of hands, and now they've got all the money in. There's not a whisker between them. Manfredi has the edge here. He's got a few chips back, but Barry Hearn with the better hand 
Well, Barry Hearn is a 64% favourite. The first card, the top card, the ace, and the fourth card, the 10, 64% chance, just 36% chance, 15 to 8, 7 to 4 for Arthur Manfredi. This could be the hand that decides the whole lot. They're playing this hand for $150,000. Here's the flop. And Manfredi, oh, man he's alive. done it. A king would make Barry Hearn a straight, but it'll make Manfredi a full house. Only running aces can keep Manfredi from 150 grand. Here's the turn card. Needs to be an ace. It's not all over. I don't know. Eight gives you a straight. Card. It's all over. No, but you got the king. Oh, you're right. No, eight gives you a straight. Arthur Manfredi from Toronto, Canada, the vending machine salesman, has hit the jackpot. Solid play and a few cards has got him the money. What a tournament this has been. Aspiring poker players everywhere will know they can do it now. Barry Hearn settling for 70000 He played a great game as well, Roy. Oh, my giddy up, would you believe? Just two hands, two rocks, two hands. It's all over. Baza Hearn, sick as a proverbial pig, goes in in front. Ace-10, 64% favor, and comes up against a Queen-10 that immediately flops three of a kind. It's all over. The prize, the party poker, European Open, goes back to the big man from Toronto. They both found big hands. And the money went in when the three queens came on the flop. Hearn looked like he was drawn dead because a king was the blocker. Nine brought a faint hope. Eight would have made a straight. But in the end, there'll be dancing ladies all over Toronto tonight because Manfredi, with three queens, takes the title home to Toronto with a whole lot of cash. And that cash is $150,000 for the winner, plus this trophy from Thomas Kremser, much, the Tom. tournament Thank director. You You're the first champion of the PartyPoker.com European Open. You win $150,000. It was great to watch you. Congratulations. Thank you, you very much. Nice show. Excellent Thank tournament, Roy. Thank you. A very happy Arthur Manfredi of Canada, who qualified via the internet, the first ever winner of the PartyPoker.com European Open. I think is a certain amount of poetic justice. You know, he, my, uh, my adversary in the final was very unlucky. The early doors he had a hand folded on him because he'd shown his cards, which he, which he appreciated. But obviously that's, you know, that's unlucky because he had the better hand and he, he well could have put me out then and there. Drawing the queen for me on the river was tremendously lucky. So I was due a spanking and I got it. And I think I deserved it and I think the right man won. This was luck and that has a lot to do with it. I had cards at the proper time and today was my day, that's all. And I'm very happy for that. And thank you for Party Poker and everyone else. Excellent tournament, especially because I won. <laughs> Cheers. Toronto is the home of the CN Tower, the world's tallest building. But in Canada, this towering trophy will look even bigger to Arthur Manfredi, winner of the first ever PartyPoker.com European Open.